Welcome to my mayor's message for December 2022. I'm Mayor Ron Jensen. On Monday evening, November 14th, we received devastating news that Grand Prairie Police Officer Brandon Sy died that evening while on duty. Our entire community continues to remember our fallen hero as we try to heal from this senseless tragedy. Grand Prairie Police are saying goodbye to a brother in blue who died in the line of duty. 32-year-old officer Brandon Sy was killed in a car accident last Monday while pursuing a vehicle with a fake paper license plate. 22-year-old Colby Hoffman was arrested two days later and faces felony charges in the case. During a memorial service Monday, Sy was remembered for his passion for cars, food of all kinds, and his calling to police work. Brandon Sy volunteered to be a guardian of our democracy, but he didn't volunteer to die. He agreed to risk his life so others would not have to. So I'm asking that you please pledge that his valor, his life, and his sacrifice are never forgotten. And we all knew when we signed up for this job that events like these were bound to happen. We keep that knowledge in the back of our minds, but we never let it guide the way we do our job. When the day comes and this tragedy occurs, all we can do is remember and honor the ones we lost. And that's what we're doing here today. I think I speak for everyone who knew Brandon when I say that we love him and we will miss him greatly. I cannot describe this pain. And although my family and I are hurting, it truly warms my heart to know how welcome love and respected he was wherever he went. That alone says a lot. I have and always will be beyond proud of him and what he's been able to accomplish. An honor guard ceremony offered a final salute with a police helicopter flyover, a traditional rifle volley, the playing of taps, and three flags from his coffin being presented to his mother and sister, his father, and his girlfriend and her young daughter. As a final gesture, a motorcade traveled several miles from the church to pass by police headquarters at the public safety building. Sai is the fifth Grand Prairie police officer to die in the line of duty. We are thankful that an arrest was made so quickly thanks to the diligent work of multiple agencies, including the Grand Prairie Police Department, Dallas Police Department, and the FBI. As you enjoy this holiday season with your family, I would like to ask you to keep Officer Sy's family, friends, and the entire Grand Prairie Police Department in your prayers. Make time to hold your family dear this holiday season, maybe taking advantage of one of the many ways to disconnect and do something fun together, like visiting our beautiful Christmas tree, which is set up outside of City Hall. And this year, in addition to the tree and wonderful decorations, we have a skating rink for you to enjoy. The skating rink will be open through December 26th, except it's gonna be closed Christmas Day, December 25th. There is no cost for skating, but you must reserve your space online at gptx.org. The Kids Inc. Coach for Kids drive is underway. Help us collect 100 new coats through December 31st. Coats size for kids in grades kinder through seniors in high school can be dropped off at City Hall, the main library, or the Betty Warmack Library. Kids Inc. is a nonprofit organization that helps clothe our GPISD students. As a reminder, the City of Grand Prairie administration offices are closed Friday, December 23rd and Monday, December 26th, so our staff can enjoy the holidays with their families. Finally, our extremely popular Prairie Lights Holiday Lights experience is back and better than ever. Take a look. On the first day of Christmas, aren't you lucky to me? The holiday season has arrived in Grand Prairie and so has Prairie Lights, the city's award-winning holiday lights experience. Back for its 16th season at Lynn Creek Park on Joe Pool Lake. This year, the park's spectacular two-mile drive-through experience features more than five million lights with hundreds of brand new displays in all shapes, sizes, and themes. 
And once again, there's also the opportunity for visitors to stop halfway and stretch their legs at the Holiday Village, an indoor-outdoor experience that features an all-new lighted holiday walkthrough forest where young and old alike can stroll through several more eye-catching displays with plenty of places to capture some special holiday moments. There are also carnival rides for the kids, concessions inside and out, including all kinds of goodies to eat and drink, and vendors offering specialty gifts. All right, eyes on me, everybody smile. And every night through December 23rd, everyone also has the chance to cozy up to a certain jolly old elf for a professionally produced portrait with him before his busiest day of the year. It's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time. Oh, the most wonderful time. Prairie Lights 2022 is open seven nights a week and officials recommend purchasing tickets in advance and to also consider their Fast Pass option if you're planning a trip there on one of their busier nights. Every year you're going to see something totally different than you did the year before, the year before that. We do try to add new things to it every year. It's one of the most family friendly and a family affordable things that you can do in the Metroplex. So whether it's looking at the lights, coming in, visiting with Santa, letting them know what you want this year, or grabbing a hot chocolate and some yummy food, get on a carnival ride or grab a corn dog, or do something more interactive like the holiday walkthrough. There's lots of options for everybody. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Prairie Lights will be open every night at 6 p.m. through New Year's Eve, December 31st. For directions, prices, or more information, please visit prairielights.org. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and get a great start to the new year. Stay safe, spend time with loved ones, and I'll see you in 2023.